you're looking at a live view of Falcon 9 awaiting liftoff, currently scheduled at 5.04 p.m. Eastern Time. Falcon 9 is in startup. Now that we are in startup, that means that both stages are now beginning to pressurize for launch. Falcon 9, Nile set 301, LD is go for launch. The launch director is a go for launch. We are working no issues at this time on the vehicle or payload. Uh, let's listen in uh, for the hey, liftoff of seconds. Nile Sat 301. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and liftoff. M1D chamber cut phenomenal. Pitching down range. T-plus 40 seconds into the mission, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 right, at Cape Canaveral Nile. Space Force Station, carrying the NILESAT-301 satellite to a geosynchronous transfer orbit. Max-Q. Now that we've passed Max-Q, we are now bringing those engines back up to full power. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And end ignition. So we got successful main engine cutoff, successful stage separation, and you can see on the right hand side of the screen that Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage has indeed uh, reignited, or not reignited, had started up and it's now propelling the second stage with our payload uh, to its drop-off orbit. Bearing separation confirmed. And there you see it. The two fairing halves have separated and are falling away from the vehicle, now exposing the NALSAT-31 satellite. Stage one, entry burn startup. Optimized to perform at sea level, and they can produce uh, over 190,000 pounds of thrust uh, during both ascent and descent. And you can see that we have indeed started our entry burn. Uh, this is expected to last for about 20 seconds before we shut off those three engines once again. And while Falcon 9 makes its way back... Stage one, entry burn shut down. You may notice the different sit markings on the outer... Payload deploy confirmed. And there you have it. We've received and see on screen successful separation of the NILESAT 301 satellite from Falcon 9's second stage.